Starting this broadcast with some latest news coming in from the war in Ukraine. The country is battling to stabilize the mounting Russian pressure in Kharkiv. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that more troops had been sent to the area and the Ukrainian army said that it had partially halted Russia's advance. Ukraine has accused Russian troops of executing civilians in the northern district of Vovchansk in the Kharkiv region and of using civilians as human shields. Zelensky held a meeting with top military commanders in Kharkiv during his visit to the region. Zelensky also met with fighters of the 92nd Assault Unit. I would like to ask you to thank the 92nd Unit from me. You didn't let the enemy break through. You are strong warriors as well as other Kharkiv warriors who fight in other brigades defending their homes and all of Ukraine. Take care of yourselves. I wish you only fortitude, victory, health to your relatives and friends. Glory to Ukraine. While a top NATO military officer believes that Russian armed forces simply do not have the number or even the ability to make any major breakthrough in the Kharkiv region. The Russians don't have the numbers necessary to do a strategic breakthrough. We don't believe, more to the point, they don't have the skill and the capability to do it, to operate at the scale necessary to exploit any breakthrough to strategic advantage. They do have the ability to make local advances, and they have done some of that. They've also made some local losses. Meanwhile, Russia's Belgorod's region border town of Shebekino came under shelling from the Ukrainian forces. As per media reports, eight residential buildings sustained damages in around a dozen strikes. A Ukrainian drone struck a family driving in a village along Russia's border, killing the mother and four-year-old child. Governor of Belgorod region has confirmed this. The Ukrainian strikes damaged the Belbek air base in Crimea. Satellite images showed the aftermath of the attack. Images released by Maxo showed damage to the fuel storage facility as well as three destroyed fighter aircrafts located at the base. In Ukraine's battle against Russia, some anti-Putin Russian paramilitaries have joined Ukrainian forces. The soldiers are part of the Freedom of Russia Legion, a group of Russians opposing President Vladimir Putin. Meanwhile, the United States announced sanctions on Thursday on two Russian individuals and three Russian companies for facilitating arms transfers between Russia and North Korea, including ballistic missiles for use in Ukraine. It is the latest round of sanctions imposed by the Treasury and State Departments to disrupt and expose arms transfers between the two countries. A Treasury Department statement confirmed this. And moments after this, Pyongyang reacted saying there is no transfer of arms between Pyongyang and Moscow. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.